A glass of fine wine is great for occasions like these. It's even more delightful if that wine is your own. In the following video, we'll take you through the seven simple steps of making a great batch of wine. Well, here we are in our kitchen with all of the basic equipment that we'll need to start our first batch of wine. Julie, why don't you get the hydrometer ready and we'll be able to take a reading. We're going to read the specific gravity. And we'll stir up all of the ingredients together. So now we've left our must set for 24 hours, all the ingredients together, and the last ingredient is the yeast. So why don't you open that up, Julie, and we'll put it in. Is that normally what it should look like? Well, typically it will look pretty much like this, some bubbles on top, but it will ferment slower or faster depending on the temperature that it's fermenting at. Give it a good squeeze there, okay. or a few squeezes. Looks good and smells very good too. To use the rack and cane and hose, we're going to put the rack and cane down into the muff. Now, we'll want to put this in a cool, dark place. Would a basement work? Yeah, basement is good. We're going to leave it set there for three or four weeks. What you do is you very gently move your racking cane tip over to the edge of the carboy, and then very gently tip the carboy on edge. So Justin, what are we going to do today? Well, now it's time to clear the wine. Now we've gotten rid of that sediment. We racked it once again, and we're ready for the next stage in the process, which is bottling. Okay, just add that sweetener in there. It's time to taste it. Why don't we take a look at it, swirl it around a little bit. Why don't we give it a sniff? Does it smell like cherry? It smells very good. You like it? It's time to bottle it. Put the cork in the top and pull down on the lever. 